Okay, I'm uh, Dr. Shojiro Kato, the uh, president of Edgar Hospital and head of uh, orthopedic department. Uh, first of all, I usually do not speak English at all, so uh, please be patient and listen carefully. Uh, I'm uh, an active orthopedic surgeon. I usually uh, perform uh, lots of joint surgery and spine surgery as well. Uh, it's an honor for giving me an opportunity to uh, present my research. But before that, I would like to uh, briefly explain about Edogawa Hospital. Uh, Edogawa Hospital was uh, founded in 1932, containing 474 beds uh, located on the eastern edge of the capital, Tokyo. It is a, re a regional base hospital in Edogawa ward. Uh, with a population of 700,000 people. Uh, as our population ages, uh, we are focusing on uh, treating degenerative disease and cancer. As a result, uh, we now offer a variety of treatment uh, from uh, regenerative medicine to uh, advanced uh, radiotherapy like VNCT. We are uh, always looking for uh, cutting edge medical care, but uh, people of Edogawa is very friendly, uh, like me, and the city is nothing but peaceful, uh, at least right now. So please come visit us when you uh, come to Japan. Uh, I'll treat you some Japanese cuisine if you have time. Okay, now I would like to uh, present the EELS talc technology. Uh, this is a uh, uh, novel regenerative medicine technology for cartilage repair uh, using in vitro cultured autologous chondrocytes. EELS uh, stands for Edogawa Laboratory of Science. Uh, we have taken the name from the fish eel, uh, which I highly recommend eating uh, when visiting Japan because it's a super delicious Japanese traditional cuisine. Uh, no matter how much you expect, Japanese eels will never let you down, I promise. And talc uh, stands for uh, trans transplant suitable autologous leveraged chondrocytes. We've named from the from talc powder, uh, dreaming that this method could someday uh, treat and smoothen the chondral damage by applying it just like baby powder treating the skin rash of uh, baby butt. And this will be the index uh, today's presentation. Uh, first, I will uh, talk about cartilage damage and incidence. Uh, then I will show you an uh, illustrated description uh, of our method, then advantages and uh, other papers to support these advantages, and at last, the summary. Uh, this is the overview of articular cartilage damage. Cartilage uh, is a, a cushioning tissue between two bones that articulate in an articular joint, which may get damaged due to sports or trauma or uh, wear and tear with aging. When uh, conventional therapy are not remedial, arthroplasty is performed using um, metal prosthesis uh, like total knee arthroplasty or total hip arthroplasty. But recently, uh, regenerative medicine is gathering more and more attention. And among them, the method using cells are called therapies, therapies uh, such as ACI or MACI uh, performed uh, in which uh, patient's cartilage tissue is taken, uh, cultured in lab and transplanted. Uh, this is uh, performed uh, mainly in uh, young patients with limited area of disease involvement. The number of people with uh, symptomatic cartilage defects suitable for ACI is estimated to be between uh, 200 and 500 people per year in the UK. As for Japan, our population is twice as much as that of the UK, but the number of ACIs is about the same, 300 to 500 per year. I believe this is due to uh, demographic 
composition of a Japan super aging society. Anyway, uh, if uh, left antritis may uh, lead to osteoarthritis, osteoarthritis is said to affect 7% of the global population, uh, pre predominantly with uh, women. So when it comes to osteoarthritis, the number jumps into hundreds of millions. For this reason, we are aiming at the application to RE osteoarthritis. Uh, this is the illustration uh, description of the method. Uh, there are two popular implantation methods called ACI and MACI. ACI stands for autologous chondrocyte implantation. This is only the cells cultured in the lab. On the other hand, MACI, a matrix assisted chondrocyte implantation, uh, uses matrix to en encapsulate chondrocyte as a scaffold. Our method uh, uses, uses 3D polymer uh, called thermal reversible gelation polymer, TGP, as a scaffold for uh, culture expanding the chondrocyte. Uh, and theoretically, uh, cultured cartilage with our method can be used for any kind of transplantation for cartilage repair. Thank you. Uh, these are the advantages of our method. Uh, each advantage has published in full length paper to support. I'll show you uh, each advantage in the following slides. Next, please. Uh, in our method, by uh, using thermal reversible gelation polymer, TGP, we can glow chondrocyte as a tissue in 3D is TGP, unlike in 2D conventional method in which cells uh, grew as a fibroblast-like morphology. Uh, photos on the uh, light are a microscopic finding of a 3D culture tissue. They show you, uh, they, they show hyaline phenotype and their uh, matrix were uh, positive for collagen 2 or cephalanin ore. Uh, I believe if you would show these images to pathologists, uh, they would definitely say they are hyaline cartilage. Uh, this is the second advantage. Uh, when uh, human chondrocytes are cultured in 3D TGP, they express increased hyal hyaluronic acid content compared to 2D culture, uh, which makes the environment conductive for good quality chondrocyte growth in vitro and makes additional injection of hyaluronic acid necessary. Next, please. Uh, this is a third advantage, um, miRNA-140, which is a key indicator of cartilage tissue homeostasis and well-being is significantly higher in 3D TGP culture. The, uh, the chondrocytes used in this study were taken from OA, uh, osteoarthritis affected tissue, so which otherwise is discarded uh, when replaced uh, was prostasis during total knee arthroplasty. So we, we believe that a cartilage harvested from elderly patient with advanced osteoarthritis and cultured a healthy hyaline cartilage is of significant clinical importance. Uh, this paper shows uh, CD 49E positive chondrocyte, uh, from chondroprogenitors and M MSCs also uh, grow better in 3D TGP. These cells are uh, thought to be beneficial when transplanted at a uh, damaged site of cartilage. Uh, 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 this is advantage fifth, five, fifth. Uh, senescence associated beta galactosidase, SAB gal, is a, a proven marker directly correlating with the aging of the chondrocyte. 
In our study, SABGAL was significantly lower in 3D TGP, which enables to offer younger, healthy uh, chondrocytes for regenerative medicine applications. Uh, this is uh, about uh, pluripotency of cultured chondrocyte of our method. In this study, uh, cells could be grown for more than 120 days in 3D TGP, whereas in conventional culture, they degenerated around the fourth week. And the prepotent marker, UEA1, were well expressed beyond 12 weeks in 3D TGP group. Uh, this is a comparison of uh, telomere lengths of cultured cartilage cells. In 2D, growth was fibroblast like with cell degenerating before day 28. Uh, but uh, interestingly, average telomere lengths is increased in 2D, though uh, they uh, degenerated before day 28. But in 3D, average telomere lengths gradually increased until day 42. Uh, we believe this is due to the increase of progenitors population. And finally, this is not our report. Uh, our uh, colleague in, Indian, in India in India has reported in vivo efficacy of uh, the otrogas transplantation of chondrocyte cultured by 3D TGP platform in a, a rabbit model, they uh, confirmed engraftment of Eustark uh, method grown chondrocyte as good quality hyaline phenotype uh, chondrocytes uh, immunohistochemically. In summary, uh, is Tag method of cell culture has various advantage to offer a high quality chondrocyte for repelling cartilage regions. Uh, we uh, need a further study to make this method to be more practical treatment. Thank you. <laughs>